Well, hey everybody, I'm Nathaniel Donson from tutvid.com. Welcome into this Adobe After Effects tutorial, where today we're going to talk about creating this sort of blob dripping droopy effect. I'm not even really sure what to call it, but you see an example of it swirling around on screen right now. It's actually pretty easy and it's super cool. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss any motion graphics, After Effects, Premiere Pro, or you name it video tutorials in the future. And with that out of the way, let's jump into this video right now. Okay, so here we are in Adobe After Effects. I'm going to begin by grabbing the ellipse tool and I'm going to hold down shift and just drag out uh, an ellipse. It can be kind of whatever size. I'm going to select stroke and I'm going to choose no stroke. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to select the fill and I'm going to go with a nice pale red. Actually, that's kind of perfect. EE4747 will work for me. I'll allow that to stand. I'm going to hold down my command and option keys. This would be control and alt on the PC and I'm going to double click the pan behind tool. And then I'm going to come over here to align, and I'm going to align it to the uh, horizontal and vertical centers of my composition. It really, that, that step, you don't need to do it, but I'm just doing it to be picky. Let's open up our effects and presets here, and I'm going to look for displace. I'm going to take this guy right here, turbulent displace, and drop it here on this ellipse. Now, my effect controls panel will open, and I can see this uh, turbulent displace happening up here. And what I'll do is I will, I, I want it to change a little bit, so I'm going to tick on animation for the evolution parameter here. It's going to drop a keyframe here on my first frame. I'm going to move all the way to the end. It's just a 10 second composition, pretty default. And I'm going to change this from 0x to 5x, and that's going to be it. So this is just going to be a blob shape that's just sort of living and moving and breathing there in the center of the composition. We can right click on this layer. I'm going to choose to rename it. I'm going to call this Big Blob. And I'm going to grab the ellipse tool and once more I'm going to create a little circle up here. I'm going to undo that. Let's make sure we deselect this. I'm going to hold down shift and create a, a second circle up here. That looks a little bit better. And what I'm going to do with this smaller blob is I'm going to animate it so it moves straight up and down just to the right of the blob here. So I'm going to hit the letter P. It's going to open up my positioning here for this shape layer. I can actually just reset the anchor point to the middle of this again just, just to keep things simple. Hold down Command, Option, that'd be Control, Alt on the PC. Double tap the pan behind tool. There we go. Set the way just, just the way I like it. I'm going to hit the little uh, keyframe stopwatch to drop a keyframe. And I'm going to move out maybe a second. I don't know. We could try about a second, see how that looks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this straight downward, maybe to like right there. Now you can see we have this, this Bezier curve line that has appeared with these two little anchor handles, right? You see that? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to, I'm going to begin bending the trajectory of our animation so that this circle passes through the blob just like that. So if I check out my animation, you can see how it just drops right through the blob just like that. Now what I can do is I can select both of these keyframes by holding down shift and selecting both of them. Then I can just hit F9 to apply an easy ease. Just give it a little, little nicer animation. Uh, make things look a little smoother. I think it looks better. Now that we have this little blob animated, let's right click on this and choose to rename it. And I'm going to call this guy Small Blob. And I'm going to drop a turbulent displace on this guy as well. So I'm going to go turbulent displace, drop it on this little guy. And uh, for this one, we're going to animate evolution again. So drop a keyframe on the first frame, go all the way to the end here. And let's make this much more subtle. So we'll go with like a 3x evolution and the amount of turbulence will only take it up to like 20. So it'll be much more subtle for the little blobby blob traveling through the big blob. But I want to do something else. I want this blob to change colors as soon as this dot hits it. So what we'll do here is we'll move our timeline down to the point where like right before the blob is going to hit, right? And what I'm going to do with the blob is I'm going to begin changing the color of this first. So I'm going to open up my contents underneath that layer, open up the ellipse, open up the fill, and down here I have color. I can animate the color. So I'm going to drop a keyframe right there, and I'm going to move ahead to the point where, boom, it's swallowed up by the blob. And at this point, I'm going to change this to like a pale orange, something like that, EEB947. In fact, I'm going to select that and I'm going to copy it by hitting Command or Control C. And what I'll do here is I'm going to collapse the contents of the small blob. I'm going to open up the big blob. I'm going to open up the contents and the ellipse of the big blob, the fill, just like we did before. And let's move back to about right here, maybe. And we're going to drop a keyframe for the color. And then we're going to move ahead to where the little blob is finally fully orange as well. And I'm going to select the color and I'm going to paste that same orange in place. So what's going to happen now is it's going to appear as this blob hits, it's going to change the color of that big red blob. Just kind of a cool little side effect there that's going to happen that I think looks kind of neat. All right, so now we need to create sort of that sticky effect where it looks like this blob is peeling and sticking with the larger blob as it bumps into it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click in the layers area, go new. I'm going to choose new adjustment layer. You see that right there? Adjustment layer. I'm going to name, well, I don't really need to name the adjustment layer. Maybe I will. 
I double clicked on it, so I'm going to close it. I am going to right click on it and choose rename, and I'm going to name it uh, Sticky ADJ for Sticky Adjustment. And I'm going to look for an effect called Fast Blur. So I'm going to type in Fast. There it is, Fast Blur. It's an obsolete effect. Don't worry. I love it all the same. And I'm just going to drag it out here and drop it on this adjustment layer. You can see it's on the adjustment layer. Here it is in the effect controls. I'm going to blur this thing by, let's just go like 100. And you can see, hey, what happened? Everything's gone. Well, it's not. We're going to bring it back here. And this is what makes this whole thing cool. I'm going to look for another effect here called Simple Choker. So I'm going to start typing in Choke. And there it is, Simple Choker. I'm going to drag and drop that on my adjustment layer, and I'm going to set the choke mat to 100. You can see our shapes are back. The shapes have been kind of trimmed in by 100, so bear in mind as you're making these shapes, you're going to have that effect. And part of the problem, as you may be seeing, is our smaller dot is completely gone. So maybe we should make this a little bit less. Let's start with like a 35 and then a 35 choke mat. Let's see what this does for us. Yeah, well, we can definitely still see our shapes. So check this out. Watch what happens now as the shapes get closer to one another. Look at that. You get this neat ink running into each other type effect. You can see here as I play through it, very, very cool. Look at that. And it's so quick and easy. You could do multiple shapes passing through here. Anything that gets put on these layers underneath now is going to be affected by this adjustment layer that just kind of filters this effect down onto everything below it. So very, very cool uh, liquid dripping effect uh, that can just take an animation and mm, push it right over the top. And boom! As you can see from the preview, what a cool little effect. And you see how easy it is to create that in After Effects. If you enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit me up and follow me over there on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at tutvid. Try to respond to all the DMs. And if you tag me in a, a post or a photo or a video, I'll check it out for you. Uh, so, guys, for this one, for learning how to work with the choker and the fast blur and all of this different stuff to make this blobby, droopy, drippy effect here in Adobe after effects i almost said adobe illustrator in adobe after effects that's it get it got it good nathaniel dodson tutvid.com i'll catch you in the next one and before you go make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day also buy my course it helps us do what we do and this channel is supported by viewers just like you you can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel see you next time guys